Now the best way I can describe this little pyropop is using the words of my neighbor. Now he had a sketchy cable system going on and uh, I asked him about it and his words were, it's not legal, but it's not illegal. We had a lovely holiday vacation. Got to go to Maui. Uh, I swam with some turtles. I got to see some massive turtle butt. And I also jumped off of this heck a high cliff and I got what's called a nutter butter. Now a nutter butter is when someone slaps the underside of your undercarriage and continues up whacking you right in the face immediately after. I got nutter buttered by the water. It was nice. Oh guys, I totally screwed up. I started another channel. We got like 200 subscribers now. The pressure is on. Start a channel. All I've done is built a crappy gingerbread house. Oh my God, I jumped the gun. I need some content and I need some content quick. For us to find success, we're gonna have to copy success because quite honestly, I have no original content in my head. You can know that from my other channel. I've got nothing new. All right, it's time to do a little searching on our own. See, uh, see maybe see what we can come up with. We'll try to copy someone else's success, all right? We're not gonna uh, invent the wheel here, okay? My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. I think we found our guy. Hey. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American Mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who are impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. Man, I think we can really work with this. I've been in love with mink ever since. What was that? I've been in love with mink ever since. I've been in love with mink ever since. How do you mean that? Like you love brownies or like you love... So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator. The amazing American mink. Intense predator? Intense? Like vigorous? Passionate? So we've got here little Miss Abby. This is my buddy Justin's mink. And we're borrowing her because uh, obviously all my mink are pregnant. <laughs> obviously all my mink are pregnant. <laughs> I've been in love with mink ever since. <laughs> Obviously, all my mink are pregnant. <laughs> all my mink are pregnant. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Before starting this rat job, we of course had to catch all the chickens and get them safely locked up so the mink wouldn't get them. You're calling it a rat job? Now, now why are we hiding the chickens again? Are we hiding the chickens to protect them from the mink? Or are we hiding the chickens to protect them from you? Obviously all my mink are pregnant. <laughs> Alrighty, Abby girl. We'll find us a rat. Good mink. Good mink. Oh, big male. Good job. Good mink. That's a little male, actually. <laughs> That's a big goddamn rat. It's a little rat, rat actually. <laughs> I love how he just corrects them. Damn, that's a big ass rat. No, that's a small rat. Trust me, there's one thing I know, and it's rodent size. <laughs> <laughs> Good mink. Good mink. Good mink. Good job, there's Abby girl. There. Good mink, Abby girl. That's a good girl, Abby girl. Good girl. That's a real good girl. Oh yeah, that's a real good girl. <laughs> yeah. This guy is into positive affirmation. That's what every sensual, exotic, erotic mink wants. Out. This is that huge rat I was telling you about. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. 
That's the mama. That, no, it's the daddy. Oh, that is a big old boy. <laughs> this guy corrects him at every time. That's the mama. No, that's the daddy. This is a big old boy I was telling you about. You remember that? Big old boy. <laughs> she wanted a drink and I cool off. Yeah, you're hot, huh? <laughs> You're hot, huh? Yeah, you're hot. You want a drink? Can I buy you a drink? You're pretty hot, Abby girl. I'd like to buy you a drink. Hide the chickens, though. Obviously, all my mink are pregnant. <laughs> you're hot, huh, sweetheart? We should have brought a second mink. <laughs> we should have brought a second mink. What? Obviously, all my mink are pregnant. There you go. Does that feel good? Huh? You did good work. Oh, you did a good job. You did a good job, this Abby girl. You did a good job. That was a good success. God dang. Abby girl's a beast. Hmm. I think they're meant for each other. Hide the chickens, Abby girl. I've been in love with Pink ever since. No, you know what? I don't really think this is for me. I don't think this is gonna work. I can't do minkery stuff. Let's take a look at his channel though. 500, 540,000 subscribers. Look at these recent uploads. 175 views five days ago. 235,000 views a week ago. 155,000, 59,000, 4.7 million three weeks ago. Oh, sh guys, it looks like we're gonna have to give this a shot. When you guys were younger, did you guys ever have a food you didn't really care for and your mom said, hey, little Jason, I want you to try at least three bites. You never know until you try three bites. I think we need to try three bites of living the minkery lifestyle and uh, watch that subscriber count grow. Hi, I'm Nipples McFurballs, and I got, yeah, I got hot, everything huh? here. We're gonna go out and do ourselves a rat job. Obviously, all my meek are pregnant. That's a good girl. Good girl, Abigail. <laughs> did you get one, Squeaker Boy? Hey, Squeaker Boy, did you get one? Yeah, you're hot, huh? Oh, that's a good girl, Squeaker Boy. Oh, that's a good boy, Abba Boy. You should have brought a second. Did you get one, Abba Girl? Oh, that's a good job, Abba Girl. Yeah, good job, Abigail. <laughs> I'm just messing around. My cat's starting to lose respect for me. Sorry, squeakers. Hey, in all honesty, if you can have a channel dedicated, dedicated to minks biting it out of rats, that's impressive, man. That's a channel that's going to stand the test of time. And to you, sir, you're weird as hell, but got my respect. All right, we gave that our best effort. Don't think uh, Miss Abby Girl is going to be the one for us. Uh, Mr. Squirrel certainly didn't seem to like it. He smacked the sh** out of my face. I don't think uh, Mr. Squeakers isn't down for it. So, uh, on to the next. Hey, we're just having a little fun here. No harm, no foul. I actually respect the hell out of this guy. You have that many subscribers doing minkery stuff. Look, uh, my other channel is doing CPAP stuff and not exactly the most exciting thing in the world. Minkery, I would think, is on the same plane, but the dude's got 540,000 subscribers? Christ! And he's killing it on every video. I'm lucky if I get like a thousand after a month. Holy crap. I've got to reassess this. Hey, uh, at this point, I'm going to need you to share this video, like and subscribe, uh, tell your entire family, and uh, starting this channel was by far the worst idea I've ever had. <laughs>
Obviously all my mink are pregnant. We should have brought a second mink. 